Ami um, seems very hype about this one. Never played Dota on the main stage. He's like, yeah, let's ready. I'm, I'm so ready to go. This is so new to me. Yeah. He's so chill. Pretty much he was always delivering. Like, oh, yeah. he, he was so stable. That playing with Bobica was so good. No first blood yet. Almost six Ooh, minutes. Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right. Nice little kill steal there from the Zeus. Thunder God's Wrath. Get that first blood. Snake King goes down. I guess he was afraid. Maybe he... What? Very nice of him. Leaving yeah, one leave of the those. bounty rune. Okay, sure. I mean, pretty generous, truthfully. Going for the roll. Right up there. I am next. XS is going to get hit towards the end of the duration. Uproar, but he's dead. Skidder's going to get the kill on XXS, so they finally get one back on the board. Channeling his ulti. And if he gets that Aghanim Scepter somehow... Oh, DY. Yeah, he's getting focused here with Snaking. DY. Down in the bottom lane. Crit tossing him up. Still not dead, but Chakram whirling death. Amar, he's got that kill. He's playing behind the Tier 1 tower. Now we know what DY stands for. It's a Mulrone, so he's tanky. Pretty standard stuff coming out from Zeus. This is the big one. If he can Whoa. pick it up. Heavenly jump. Now he's actually in a, a good amount what of trouble. Play from crit. Oh, and Thunder, and all of a sudden, XM needs to be careful. Snake King's here. Maybe he can get a kill before he dies, but no, XM falls to Snake King. He dies afterwards to DY. That is just Zeus wasn't allowed to move. Let's see if they're going to be able to get, and of course, uh, you know, the lower cooldown, but uh, so does Avalanche scale with the levels that you get, less cooldown. They have you. a ward here. Look at this. It's just about to run out, so giving away the fact that they might have vision here. No mana. But Ame's going in. There's four heroes here for the side of Falcons. Thunder God's Wrath go into the Fiend's Grip. They get the kill of the Snake King. Ulti used by Ame. Going to leave Zinkyu to die. But is he going to die? Yeah. That'll be a swashbuckle that gets the kill. But now can they turn this around? Toss up on the XXS. Right click's coming into the crit. They pounce. They leech. They've got the lockdown onto the tiny. That's the second one dead to the side of Falcon. Oh, look at this magic now damage Amar on Amar. Now trying to run, but there's a Zeus right behind him. Timber chain over the cliff, still trying to get away. If Philactor is up, he XM might die here. have it. Oh, just staying alive, but XXS one more is zap. chasing. They want that lightning bolt. Just arc lightning. Anything that's going to be enough, but he skirts away just barely. If you're picking the hero early in the draft, you probably also need to pick up an earlier BKB, considering right. that it's going to get countered. They go for Ame. Uh, think about it. it. Bubble. They've got this they have chain. Enough. They have the damage. That was perfectly some executed. Weak damage, too. I mean, you would know which one is real if it didn't. But, yeah, of uh, course. But. but it is slightly OP. Jin Q. Timber chain uh, in. Get Chocked up down. immediately. Yeah, they've got the silence as well as the nets. They'll go to the avalanche as well as the toss, the freezing field. They get the kill to XM. Think he's in trouble. He's probably dead on his screen already. Two heroes dead is Falcons. They will take a fight, take out XM, slow down his farm, and these cores are starting to pull away. It doesn't work on Illus anymore, but it still maybe feels strong on the hero. So maybe that's why they're buying it. I mean, there's a ton of magic damage coming out from Zeus Primal Beast Pagna. They've got themselves Bane. Another dead extreme gaming hero here. Onslaught on the high ground. This is a risky maneuver, but they go for the Thunder God's Wrath with the BKB. That's not going to matter. The song coming out, but eventually that's going to run back through, from and that's going to stop him. Oh, he goes to the Pulverize, goes into the Crystal Maiden. They've got two kills. XXS is on a double kill, but now he's on the run. Rolling Thunder, Timber Saw right on top of him with the Chakram. The Life Drain's not going to be enough. They get the kill to XXS. They'll take out one. This time, they're going to look for more. They find XM by himself. They take out DY. They are taking heroes out left and right. And Falcons, despite the fact that they started on the back foot after the re-engage from Extreme Gaming. So that's Aegis and an activation on the amplified damage. Because it needs to be like close, relatively close to a fight. Smoke would have potentially connected with the Mar, but that's not who you want. Uh oh, DY. Mobs up on the high ground. Now they're going. They've got the pounce as well as the is turning. Forced to jump away, and they're going after DY. They're going to get this kill eventually onto this Pugna. And these heroes on the side of Extreme Gaming turn around. They need to get out. Trying to kill off the last Tier 2 tower. Ooh, Skitter just coming forward. They might find them. ZQ gets body blocked by Ame, and that leaves him behind. He's dead. That split second was enough for them to catch up. They get another support kill. You would assume that Extreme Gaming would be controlling it. With oh, Zeus, with we'll Slark. Words everywhere for the side of the dire. 
Falcons have so much vision advantage right now. BKB is going to be picked up for Skitter, so he is going to be even harder to kill. And they want to go for Ame. That's the Avalanche. Chakra him down. Ame forced immediately into that ult. They roll up on top of him. They get the kill to Ame, and he has still just been a non-factor in this game. And he might end up being a complete non-factor as th this might be the final fights that we're seeing. They take another one out in Zinku. They go up onto the high ground with the Illusions, and Falcons looking to finish this. Pretty much Naga Siren, which is okay, but Timber doesn't deal. He doesn't have a sh shard, I believe. Tiny's not hitting. He's looking for an opportunity to jump in. Maybe, to jump. maybe Ame is Thunder gonna buy draft. back if they find something. Song. Oh, Song to leave, and they are out. He's also got that shard too, so. And this is an even quicker Roche than the last one. With the Bloodthorn and all the illusions, five heroes, Roshan dies in a matter of seconds. Now there's smoke. Let's see if they can find something. Ame has been doing a pretty good job getting outside of the base, getting the farm, cutting some creep waves. Yeah, 21,000 net worth lead here for Falcons, though. At what point is Ame going to feel like he... Uh-oh. Uh Amar? All right. That's not going to be too bad. Oh, Fiend Scrape coming through on the Naga Siren. They got the kill on the XN, though. He's dead immediately. BKB pop by Skitter. They get the kill there on the DY. That's two years dead on the side of Extreme already. They use that ult on Ame as well as the BKB. Trying to run away from that Song. They're not going to catch up to him. The blink forward Swashbuckle not connecting. Song still going, but eventually Ame gets away. They didn't use it yet? I don't know if they've used it or not, but that is a guild banner. Okay. Still. Just making sure. That is uh, Creep Wave. That's the guild. The old ATF squad. They're going in. They're looking. I like success. that. They're buffing the Creep Wave with it. <laughs> Ami's right. in. Yeah, they're all in here. Ami's going to try and get a couple of kills, but up into the air is this tiny. Ami's uh -oh. low on health. They go to the Thunder God's Wrath. They've got themselves the Life Drain. That's going to save Ami with the BKB running out on XXS. Rolling Thunder there from the Pangolier. Going behind. He's out of mana completely. Into the own area, but not getting anybody. They look over at ZQ, he's gonna pop the BKB, they've got the life drain again, keeping this Bane alive. You the bottom see. center axe will still stand. XXX damage slotting. they're wanting to reset into the fight. Can they catch up? The rock throw, a little bit short of snaking, but the chase is still on, so it makes it very tough for the side of Extreme to have a perfect fight going into this one. Pipe, Eternal Shroud, they're just way too tanky. They, By the way, I'm looking for Divine. I, I'm fine with that. Like, we've seen some really clutch Wait, Divine purchases. When it really mattered, it was the game. They're in! Whoa! Oh my god! He's just dead? Immediately dead! Life Drain on the Nether War, but it's not going to really do much for them. DY's going to decrepify themselves. They got some damage on Amar, but the song is there to reset it all. They're going to heal. They've got the shard onto the Naga Siren. So look at all these heroes at full health for the side of Falcons. This looks like the final fight. They get the gun to Zinku as well as DY. This is XM with the BKB right clicking away. They've got the pulverize out of Skitter, but it's looking like it might be enough damage to finally get the kill onto the Naga Siren. He's going down. He's dead. They bought back on the Crystal Maiden. They've got the Rolling Thunder. That's going to put XM up in the air with that axe. He's shield crashing, doing some bad damage with the Swashbuckle. They take out XM. Triple kill here for Amar. Pounce leashing. That lands on a crit. Life Drain coming out from DY. Rolling Thunder still going for a second longer. Nightmare's going to be reflected with the Lotus Orb. Snake King's here. They've got the Nether Blast and the Life Drain coming up from DY. Mage Slayer holding them back a little bit. Uh oh, with the BKB. in trouble. Around. Ame's going to be back into this one with the Fiend's Grip. Onto Amar, but the damage coming in. The Life Drain's not going to be enough to save Ame. He doesn't have buyback. He's dead for 108 seconds. Uh, Amar's going to go in for the rest. DY is dead. Triple kill again. Everybody gone on the side of Extreme. Falcons come out way ahead without the Naga Siren. Secure. Megas, and oh, it's going to be like Megas plus 30 seconds left for Ame to respawn, which is not enough. They might still have one more fight, potentially. Oh, XM in his own base. We don't need that. No, we don't. Maybe, no, bubble's bubble. already too strong. Maybe bubble should be a real item. Yeah. yeah. XM All is going Falcons. ham. Like, damage coming out from Zeus it's is pretty lot. nuts. Yeah, he's also building into Pike, so wants to have extra attack range. For now, yeah. it's going to be Dragonlance. He's actually cleaning up these creeps and these illusions pretty efficiently. Nether Blast once again. There's the blink in with the Avalanche. The double Chakram is going to be thrown forward, but still nothing doing. 
these creeps being cleaned up very quickly. The blink right on top of DY. They get the kill there onto this Pugna as well as the Bane. So there's no supports to help him out. Amar's going to be left with a fourth of his health. They go to the Pulverize. They get the kill. So he's going to be dead. That's going to be Aegis coming back into the fight. But they've got the song. So they'll reset the three quarters of Extreme Gaming against XM. the entire side of Falcons. They're going to go for XM. They've got the double charge. That's on everybody. So they'll look over at Ami. That's going to be Yules up into the air. XM, XXS trying to survive. But there's the uproar activation with the Rolling Thunder. That's going to bounce up Ami. They get the kill on the XXS. It's just two heroes left on the side of Extreme. Buy. They get the kill on Ami. They look over at XM. Everybody dead. And that's going to be Falcons taking game one over Extreme Gaming. It did take them good 50 minutes to close it out, but it was Falcons throughout the whole game, pretty much. Yeah. Extreme Gaming, it felt like they couldn't fight back. They did not have enough damage. They were creep skipping most of the time, but uh, classic Tundra fashion. He can still cast. You don't need a hand to work. Uh, we're, we're good. I, I make <laughs> gestures with my hands. That's about it. We're fine. Yeah, I, like, yeah, I saw you counting the, these runes, 35 minute rune. It was the, with the hand that was burned. So, Spin, Amar, in trouble. Blood Grenade, first blood, Ame turning his fortunes around here. Not much Crit can do early on. That was already melted ice. So, mid lane, XM, pulverized, in trouble, and dead. Solo kill. And tips him immediately. I think Maureen. he tipped him during the third pulverize. Yeah. And Ame is now jungling. Like Top of network. He has two kills going into Maelstrom. Pretty standard nowadays, I would say, on Jug, considering the changes to Blade Fury. Oh, They're going. they still might get him. Rebound, dispose with the Skewer at the same time. Skewer going to be shockwaved, and the damage will be there. It'll be for XXS. Everybody coming Ooh. down. The Pulverize in a great Big spot. Two from heroes Marine. low, but DY not going to get out. Onslaught on top of him. XXS needs to try and get away. Skewer in three. Telekinesis, one, and Shockwave. Skewer not going to be able to get out. <laughs> Maureen gets the kill. You skewer the Primal Beast, you still get damage from Trample. So yeah. it's not double damage. It does amplify damage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Click on your, on your toes there. Net, not as in cute. And that's going to be... Some good damage, but not a kill. Ball Lightning, though, all the way over. Look at the Primal Beast that was going for XXS. And XXS gets critted for the kill on a Malri. So, good rotation. First rotation out from XM. He still has two sips in that bottle. Is that boy? I think, I think you still need, like, maybe not so much of a BKB in this game, but... Uh... We'll see what he's going to buy. XM trying to hold him close. Not a lot of health to work with. Ball Lightning still going. Keep Crits off distance. to the side. Just has to stay away from a potential trans trample as well as the Onslaught. Omni committed. And there's a kill on him already. So Omni on a killing spree. He's moving around the map. Pretty it, much. But still, like they're getting too much out of the map right now. Yeah. You would expect them farming with Empire. Ball Lightning over with for Amar. Big kill Omni. if they can get it. And the Moonlight Shadow, but not going to matter. Ame gets another kill. He's dominating. So that puts him back up to the top of the net worth. Blink Dagger, by the way, purchased for XXS. So or I you could thinking... keep it tier 1 and put the shield to be like 70, 75, and, has, and you have left, less uh, HP region. I was thinking maybe we go back to recipe i think you were Ooh, thinking too XM. hard about that item arrow arrow in and a spear to connect xm ends up dead that's what they're looking for in terms of the combination with the arrow and the spear and they tip again maureen is uh <laughs> the back and forth and a smile in the all chat it feels like it's very playful it's not you know mantles of intelligence dropped in front of you see you later kind of yeah, but it's still, you know, all chatting. Ooh, He's going to bring some extra spice. Your RP with the unleash. There's the rebound. And then find Skitter. That's a big kill to get. Something they were unable to really do in game number one was kill that Nagasar. Had a tutor come in last night. <laughs> <laughs> math tutor? Or yeah, ma uh, I know everything tutor. Life tutor, math tutor. They gave me an abacus. I love those life coaches, man. I follow them on Instagram. They have so many good advices. That's why life is so great at the moment. The next sem again, will drop. Yeah, Onslaught in, looking for a second. Mine's down on the ground with the blade mail popped here by Maureen, but they get the spear onto the tower and get the kill on a DY. These two letter player names, not doing well. They're they're dead again. This Yule Scepter from Amar has been amazing. Just 
removing some of these buffs and also setting things up for potential arrow or spear into arrow. Song? Skeeter, as soon as he sees one uh, guy... Does he want to get out? He looks like he wants to just go. Ame, he's... Ooh, got a Blade Fury immediately. So now the rebound comes through. They do have that Blade Mail, so can't unleash onto the Primal Beast, but can go for the Mars. Spear in, that connects onto the arena, but has the healing ward off to the side. The Pulverize, though, he's staying alive. Old Scepter. Omni Slash, Yule Scepter, RP coming in, lands on two. Snake King and Mar are both going to be dead. Now they'll go after Maureen. They've got the Primal Beast in their sights, and they'll make him extinct. They'll take him out. That's three heroes dead on the side of Falcons. Uh, what an RP from XXS. Like, he did pick up that Blink Dagger a few minutes ago. Arcane Rune is available on XM. Already down to half HP. Look at this damage from Juggernaut. Sidekick, Empower, Mjolnir, Yasha. Thinking about going into Namar. They've got the Yules. Can they land the spear? It's immediate, but the blast off comes Arrow? in with a sticky bomb. We'll they go to the him. arena. They get the kill on the XM. Trample right on top of DY. That's going to be a second dead. Again, these two letter player names, they just can't <laughs> commit. This is, again, way how the old Tundra squad played. They're not too afraid to push it for the mid and super late game because they always itemize for it. Spear connects Beautiful XM again. Execution. BKB survives this time. Going back in. He wants to go for Skitter. They go to the song. BKB's only going to last a little bit longer. That's a leap forward from Snake King. They're going to rebound, trying to chase with the onslaught away from Maureen. BKB, oh! is it going to last long enough? XXS. Harpoon didn't connect. Can he jump in there and maybe get an RP down? Omni Slash is going to bounce around, get the kill on a Snake King. They'll pop the Blade Mail on this Primal Beast, trying to run the slows on his in queue. And they only get the position five Marana. Snake King sacrificing himself, saving Malreen in that fight. They were lacking a little bit of extra damage to bring down Storm Spirit from Ooh, 100 to zero. Again. Mar has DD Ooh, they lack or this Amplify time. damage. Amplify damage, no the BKB. silences, and dead. XM just not having a game. Also, Zinku going for what it seems to be like Gleipnir. So it wants to be able to deal damage. Uh, not needing it for the first 34 minutes of this game. Yeah, you are playing into Omni Slash RP, so you don't want to pick up BKB immediately. It's more about you surviving, getting these smaller items. DY will be the first point of contact. Yeah, but the Onslaught Telekinesis, they're going to get Reactive Taser out of this. Which is not a bad spell to have when you're up against Jug. Amar will pick up his Octarine, lowering the cooldown of his abilities and Wind Waker. Ooh, Spear! That connects! So they've got the Arena on slot and gone! With the Silence BKB from XM, they're gonna rebound in, they've got the Unleashed, they're looking for the damage with the BKBs, they ulti activate that ability here from the Primal Beast, that Uproar Ags upgrade. Ooh. Spear a little bit early with the BKB being popped by Zinku. They go to the Swift Slash. That's onto the Illusions. Ame on the back lines. They're looking over this. They've got themselves the Pulverize. It's going to be through on a Zinku. They're controlling Ame. They've left him behind. And now Ame trying to get out with the Blade Fury. But do they have enough as this activated Uproar is bouncing around and pushing them away? But is he going to 30 use seconds. It? You're going to potentially lose the barracks if you don't use it. Others need to, you know, go in, try to yeah. buy a little bit more time. They still have another Glyph, so they will pop that. 25 seconds. Ame. Marine has to needs think. to be careful. Amar. Does he want Marina, to come in? Amar. Not available yet. Ooh. I think they push faster. Yeah, if, Unleash is certainly going to help. <laughs> uh, guys? Might want to might wanna start getting back here. Oh, Marana gets the healing ward. That's pretty big. But they got coming the around the back. From two glyphs used. Maureen, Onslaught, right on top of DY. He's they alone. go into the Omni Slash. That was full Omni. So Ami doesn't get the kill there. Uproar activated. Arena down around on two. XM down to about half health. They've got the score. They go after Amar with the BKB being popped. He's on the run. They've got the reactive RP on top of him. And now they've got the RP as well. They've got the dispose. It's on a Snake King. They're trying to get a couple of kills here. DY's going to end up dead with the Wind Waker going away. They go to the Pulverize on top of XXS with the BKB. It's not going to matter yet. Bleed Skeeter's Fury on still top in the base. of Maureen. They're trying to get the kill here onto this Primal Beast. The Naga Siren Illusions are taking the top set of racks, and now this is a Naga Siren go to the bottom set. They need to get back. They need to figure out their base. <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't talk we about that. Yeah, we, we, we spent all our money covering it up, and they're going go for the base. And then I said, <laughs> <laughs> what about XP rune? I think we got it. Am <laughs> I still not done? No, like, they're not. Full Wind Waker, by the way, being finished here for crit. 
Telekinesis, TPN, Naga's coming back. They've got Amar, as well as the Primal Beast, Alanda nice. Spirits on the Ame. He's got to be a little bit careful as he'll pop that Manta. He's going to start to right click. He goes into the Swift Slash, down to the Blade Fury, but he's going to be pulverized while he's, he's done. doing so. He's dead. 1,200 gold seconds for Amar. So much money for him because that's his first death. The net lands. They get another kill here. And oh, buyback from Ame. Roshan is up. Uh, okay. Everybody buying back. They're committing all or nothing. Can we check the Roche? Check the prizes. I'm still not used to it seeing. Is it is Ages, shard, Refresher, banner. and the Banner. Okay. They're not afraid to go for the late game, super late game. They also have two sets of barracks taken out. Make success. Trying to go for the wraparound. Might be successful on it. They're jumping in. They're looking over. They've got that RP that's going to be on the ZQ. XM going in with the BKB. He's going to jump through. They've got the arena. It's up. DY's already going to be dead. He buys back immediately. They're on the back lines with the Song. They go to the RP. Is it going to be enough to get these catches and get these okay, kills? I don't see them. Song stops them. And the Song. Now they're going to go back in. Spear, BKB, ZQ moving forward. XM looking for the ball. Lightning going to continue to go for Amar. But he's got his own BKB. They're on the run now on the side of Extreme Gaming. They land that they rock to fall toss. back. That lands on a DY as well. ZQ, they'll hit the Spear onto the Marcy, but it goes up out of the high ground. So he's safer now with the arrow hits he's one shot from dead and it's marlene who gets the kill healing ward stolen so they're gonna have some regen on them Ame in some trouble with the blade fury he needs to be careful about his positioning but he gets him out of the high ground here xxs he still has an aegis for a minute 30 but they're five heroes alive for the side of team falcons now he's not too close to it so the net worth currently sits at 32,000 in the lead here. Daedalus next for Zinku, but he's getting chased. Bots Boots to travel in, and they've gotten themselves the Pulverize as well as the kill. Skitter Wicked Sick, as they'll take out this Marcy who does have buyback. They're choking them out. Like you can see, the net worth difference, it keeps increasing. 33,000 gold. Dagon to deal with those illusions. They're going. They've got the spear as well as the arena. That's going to be an Ame. Lincoln's being popped all over the place. They're looking for the RP. It's going to be used, but I don't think it hit on anybody. BKB from Amar with the Lotus Orb on him. He's confident to move on in. The Sticky Bomb's down, but they go for the Tier 3. They've got the Glyph. So right now, Skitter holding his ground on the high ground as they've also got Marlene ready to go forward. Uh, this might be Mega Creeps. Yeah, they need to commit on Extreme. They've got backdoor protection at least for a second. They'll go in. They've got themselves the Pulverize on XM with the BKB, but they're looking over as the rest of the team's coming up with the Blast Off. This is XM low, but surviving. DY's in. The uproar is going to be activated. They get the kill there on the DY. DY is dead. Now they're starting to run away. They've got Marcy, though, in their grasp. They'll get themselves a double kill. Godlike it's for Skitter. Now. They do not have buyback on either of those heroes. Yeah. No buyback on DY, Jin Q used his already. So there are the Mega Creeps. And the Tier 4 is Onslaught in, Jug in trouble, looking for the Pulverize. They land the Spear. Ame's got buyback, he's going to use it immediately. Trying to hold on as they go to the Moonlight Shadow, they'll throw this Swift Slash. BKB, Wind Waker, trying to stay in the face of Extreme Gaming. They're going to pop the Lincolns on XXS, they've got the Arena down. Blade Fury to get out of it, but the throne's exposed. They go to the ball, lightning back and forth. They've got the telekinesis. It's on to the Magnus. Now they look as the damage is out on XXS. They get the kill. He's got buyback, and they hold the throne up. Extreme Gaming trying to do it, but they go into the song. Everybody's still alive here for Falcons. They look like they're going to push Extreme G Gaming up into the lower bracket. They want to close it out. As they call GG, Falcons will take this series 2-0 over Extreme Gaming. And, I mean, they have defeated the top team from the group. Yeah, Falcons, they came here to play, and it looked, you know, I would say very one-sided. There was the uh, first game, it was all about Team Falcons. Second game, Extreme Gaming, they were fighting back, but uh, again, Team Falcons, they know how to farm, and eventually you will get out-farmed.